So in this video we're going to use the Festive Lights and the Frosty Feet. Now with the Frosty Feet it does say it's a 6 by 6 inch die. Now this is the die but if you try and put it onto a 6 inch card you'll find it's a little bit bigger. So what I would suggest that you do is you create your own bases for that. This is just simply an A4 piece of card folded in half. But like I say, that die is too big. So to use this die, I have made my card base six and a half inches. And I've done the same with this one. This is a five by seven. So I've made my card base just a little bit bigger so that that panel die will fit on the front. This will leave a nice border around the edges. So for the 5x7 card I'm creating some mats. So all I'm doing is adding my card, leaving just a small border around two sides and making little marks just in from that corner and just up from the bottom. And once I've die cut that out that will leave just a small border around all four sides. So I've done the same thing again with the white panel and this time I'm going to put this through the embossing folder that is from Card Making Magic and this is the poinsettia one. And once I've done that, this is the pattern that I have in my card. Really pretty. So that's going to sit on the front there and these are just traditional Christmas colours. Now I'm going to use that card this way around so the opening will be at the side but it will have the side fold there. Now to the top of that I'm going to cut this. This is the one that says Christmas and I think we'll take the Merry from the die set and add that to the card. Now with this die I want to trim out the words so all I need is a piece of card that is going to take those lights and the words because all this then will be trimmed off. So I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. So once you've done that you can take away all the excess pieces that you don't need and the centres of the lights. And then where you have the lights still joined to the panel at the end you're going to need to, to trim round that carefully for the shape of the bowl. It's not there we go. Take out all the excess bits. Do the same on this side and then we can start to colour these lights. Now with alcohol markers just colour in the lights that you want to the colours that you want. Colour in the words and colour in the strings. The, the, the wire to the lights and the little cutouts in the lights make it look as if there's some illumination in them so we'll use um, we'll use a black pen and we'll color in those strings We'll let that dry a little bit and then we'll add this to our base. That's dry. So before we glue that in, we'll just let that dry. And that's our card done. So once everything's stuck in place to the top of these lights, I'm just adding in some sparkle pen. And that will just add a little bit of sparkle to the the lights and then to finish the card off I'm just going to put some of the sparkle onto my mat and then I'm going to splatter it onto the onto the card next card because it's a six inch uh, square die 
I've made the card six and a half inches and I'm not doing it in traditional Christmas colours I'm going to do it in lovely delicate shades this time so again I'm creating a map the same um, the same way I did the others but I have used the die to cut the next pattern out and I've done that in pink now once I've cut those out that gives me a little frame around each colour just a slight border now I've also cut this out again in white but I've kept it in the die because what I want to do is glue these down and then I want to paper piece all these pieces back into the boots in white so let's get this glued down first so once you have those stuck in place then bit by bit you can add the other paper pieced white pieces back into the boots Once I've paper pieced the boots, I'm also going to trim out the, the snowflakes and I'm going to add those to the card as well. Keep these three joined together. And we'll just take out the little loose pieces. Add some glue to the back. just dot these in place over the original pink ones that were in there so you can also trim out the boots just by snipping across the bits where the boots are held together and then once you've trimmed out the boots you can add these to another panel and paper piece it the same but you can add this as a happy birthday card. Now to add a little bit more fun to the boots I'm adding in some accent glaze and then once I've got this filled in I'm going to sprinkle it with some glitter so we'll just give it a little tap just to level out the accent glaze and you can see the glaze on the boots so now I'm just going to sprinkle these with some glitter and that will give us a really nice pair of frosty feet skating boots isn't that beautiful so there we are there's our boots all sparkly once it's dry we can brush off all this extra glitter along the side so I'll just leave that now to dry so there's our two cards we've got the Christmas festive lights um, card we've coloured in the the Christmas sentiment and the lights themselves you could add um, um, accent glaze to these if you wished 
this is the Frosty Feets one and we've done paper piecing with the panel but you can also cut the, the, the boots out as I've shown you there and you can use them as a birthday card instead. The only other die that I've the only other item that I've used has been the poinsettia embossing folder.